Well, I'll take a look at two Linux distros in one go in this video. So we have Couple Linux versus Peppermint OS. So Couple Linux is Chromium, Ubuntu, and Peppermint OS, well, it used to be sold as getting you on the internet as fast as possible. However, that doesn't seem to be quite so much the case these days. In fact, it really does seem more like a different theme for the full-blown Mint OS. Hmm. How things have changed in the past few years since I last reviewed it. So we've got Cub Linux on the left-hand side and Peppermint OS on the right-hand side. This will unbalance things with the operating systems reviewing tool at once, but we can see that Peppermint OS has a clinch lit on the boot-up speed. There are some glitches with Cub Linux, and this is more a VirtualBox issue. I, I don't know which graphic system it's using, but I don't think it's X11. So we can see the difference on the application launcher here, that Cub Linux is very much built for web-based systems. It's all really just shortcuts that you would find in Google. Whereas Peppermint OS is more like a full-blown desktop here. You've got menus here with all different applications. And it lists your favorite and recently used ones first. Now you've also got the options here to go, in, go into the settings, lock screen, switch users, and to log out and shut down. You have a searcher here, so you can start typing and it will bring up results. Firefox, come on, Firefox web browser should really be first. Hmm. There is a way of bringing up more applications in Cub Linux. If you right click, you can go into the applications list here. But it's not exactly what you would call a well stocked operating system. It really is built more for web. Let's look at the task manager of each one. That's a bit easier under Peppermint. I don't have to search around and find it. So memory, 277 meg and 254 meg. Huh. Now that's a surprise because Peppermint OS is using the Cinnamon desktop. Cub Linux is using Openbox. <laughs> Who'd have thought Openbox would be more bloated? Let's look at launching the web browser. So there's a link to Chrome there and we have a link to Firefox. Well, my system is really lagging running both virtual boxes at once. One moment. Okay, the host system is being pushed quite a bit, so any lag here can be attributed to my system. Okay, you can see the differences on Searcher here. We've got Google and DuckDuckGo. Quids up, quids up. Yep, both rendering okay. YouTube. Okay, um, watch on YouTube. Peppermint does come with Flash Player installed. Boo! Yes, get rid of it! Cup Linux comes with the option to install Flash Player. We'll both play video is perfectly fine. So most of these links along the bottom are just for the Google applications. We do have one here for File Manager. With Peppermint, we just got the link for Firefox. We do have File Manager here but also have Terminal and VLC. The styling is a bit more interesting here in Peppermint. We do have the options for transparency, so any, any application you're not using actively is turned partially transparent. No such luck in Cub Linux. There's no Office client. We do have a link to Google Drive though, so, so that's the prime means of dealing with files here. It's web-based. Going through Google Docs. Same here in Cub Linux. Now a real party piece of Peppermint is this ICE program, Desktop Integration for Web Apps. So you can set, create a single site browser. For example, BBC News. bbc.co.uk slash news, we're in the menu, internet. Or you could select one of the other application menus. Select an icon, so use site fav icon. Yep. And you can choose between different browsers. Now it's noticed I don't have Chromium installed, so that's greyed out. So I can choose between Chrome or Firefox. I shall go for Chrome. So apply. And close. It's now across the internet. Oh, there it is at the top. That nearly fooled me. So BBC News. Straight there, it's the Chrome browser, but Yep, you don't have access to the address bar or anything else. It's just literally trimmed down, focused on being for a single site. 
Nice feature that. So you can choose between different browsers. That's fine if you prefer Chromium or Chrome over Firefox, then you do have that option. I did create one under Firefox. Here it is for my website. Yeah. You wouldn't know which browser you're using there unless you actually looked at the icon. So in terms of installing applications, well, Cub Linux have got their own software center here. That's a reskinned version of another software center, isn't it? Can't think which one it is off the top of my head right now. The software manager in Peppermint is from Linux Mint. Which one should we look at? Internet. Because I can see internet on both of those. Now it's an order of popularity, the Mint software center. Whereas the Cub Linux software center is in order of application name. So Aurora, browse World Wide Web. Add to Apps Basket. Ah, it's the Lubuntu software center, isn't it? That's where the behavior is similar to. 18 meg? <sighs> We're going to search for it because I don't know what rating it has. Aurora. Oh, that's just installed straight away. There's quite a few wallpapers included on each distro. So right click and change desktop background. They seem to be a similar idea on the wallpapers for each one, where they're mostly photographs as well as a couple of uh, more basic backgrounds. Yeah, got a bit of choice there. What I will say for it is Nitrogen took quite a long time to generate the thumbnails for the first time view, but subsequent times I've opened it, it's been fine. And finally, I'll finish up with a look at the applications on each distro. So under settings, so I'm not going to list them all out, but you can see notable ones here. They've got firewall, flash player. Now that was the option to install flash player. Accessories, yeah, it looks the sort of standard selection we'd get. Graphics, so we just have the image viewer and simple scan. Internet, so you've got a torrent application, and the rest of it is sort of links to the Google applications. Multimedia, so we have an audio player. Which one that was? Pogo, not one I'm familiar with. The option to install restricted extras and a link to YouTube, no video player. Office is links to the Google Docs, Sheets and Slides. For Peppermint, accessories. Mostly a similar sort of selection on the accessories. What we do have though are games. And these are just sort of fairly basic HTML5 games. Graphics, so I've actually got an image editor on here. Internet, so there's links to Torrent Client, Dropbox, Firefox web browser and the ICE single site browser. Office, this only has links to Google Drive. No shortcuts to Google Docs though. Sound and audio, so you've got a webcam viewer, GUVC view webcam viewer, a VLC for the media player, no audio player. The last thing I've got to open is the Peppermint Control Center. It's just a few options here on the window, keyboard, desktop effects, and some advanced options. So that was a look at Cub Linux and Peppermint OS. Now I can certainly see the use of Cub Linux if you're after an alternative to Chrome OS. Brilliant alternative there, looks very much themed like Chrome OS. But Peppermint OS doesn't really suit that for me. So what does it suit for? Well, just a regular Ubuntu-based desktop, and there's quite a few of those around. I'm not sure what really differentiates it over and above anything else for me.